Ukraine to give a truly global perspective on the language learning today and to share their practice and to inspire other educators around the world to create solutions. Over the last seven months, we've heard some amazing stories from our speakers in these webinars of the extraordinary events, the extraordinary efforts that teachers are making to ensure that education continues. Um, over 70% of the world's school children have been affected um, by temporary school closures, with countries going through lockdown and phased return to schools at different times, and education systems around the world are approaching this in a range of different ways.
So here in Spain, we've been through, um, as you all have, a, a roller coaster of national and regional and local virus waves and restrictions here since March last year, moving from a complete lockdown with almost um, uh, almost no uh, possibility of moving around with online learning to socially distanced classes happening in um, in September. The online learning varied very immensely depending on school and family resources and um, the technology that was available for, for each family. Um, from full online live lessons to worksheets, emails and mostly independent homework tasks. Once back in the face-to-face -face classroom there were strict COVID protocols and we have those at the moment um, as many of the panellists have mentioned including face masks, hygiene, ventilation, mask wearing and um, all of the physical distancing that we need to, to make sure that we're doing in our classroom. My area of education involves teaching English to learners in Spain who study with us in our teaching centre and the British Council. They attend our English lessons after school or at lunch time um, and many of the older learners also prepare for short and language exams. programs for these learners and work closely with our teachers. Um, so when we had to coordinate the online move across Spain in March, it was quite a challenging time. We had um, 10,000 learners um, in our classroom and we had to move to the virtual teaching environment. Um, I'll now move on to 